As U.S. President Donald Trump arrived for a golf game at his club in Florida, back in Washington, Democratic members of Congress renewed demands and issued a subpoena for an unredacted version of special counsel Robert Mueller's report by May 1st. On a working visit to Northern Ireland during a congressional recess, Nancy Pelosi, the top Democrat in the U.S. House of Representatives, again played down talk of impeaching the president. But this time, she didn't rule it out. Uh, the Congress of the United States will honor its oath of office to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States, to protect our democracy. Uh, we believe that the first article, Article 1, the legislative branch, has a responsibility of oversight of our democracy, and we will exercise that. The conclusion of congressional Democrats, after reading what they call the selectively redacted 448-page report, is that while the special counsel declined to prosecute a sitting president, Mueller did call on Congress to investigate whether Trump obstructed justice and tried to stop the investigation into Russian interference in the 2016 U.S. election. On Friday morning, Trump tweeted using profanity. He lashed out at recollections of his statements in the report, calling them fabricated and the investigation an illegal hoax. Congressional Republicans are promising their own investigation into whether law enforcement agencies like the FBI may have exercised political bias to destroy Trump's presidency. Democrats have announced they'll hold a conference call on Monday to discuss next steps. This is far from being over, and I'm sure that the House and the Senate oversight committees are going to be looking at every piece and turning every stone unturned, because this was just looking into what the special counsel looked at. There is also still the possibility of impeachment. I think everything's on the table. I mean, this is not the end of anything. But what happens next is now in the hands of congressional Democrats, newly empowered by the special counsel to act potentially dictating not only the terms of Trump's remaining time in office, but also whether he might win re-election in the 2020 presidential race. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, Washington.